Good morning, Junior High family. Uh, today is our fourth official day of AMI instruction, and it is also officially Thursday, March 19th. Um, for some of you, as you hear four days of AMI instruction, you think, oh, it has felt like four days of AMI instruction. And others of you hopefully feel, oh, it's only been four days of AMI instruction. Um, but I hope you feel comfort in at least knowing that we all have felt both of those emotions. We've all been the highs of, this is not bad, we can do this, we can do this, this is fine. Um, and then we've also been in the lows of, I really want this to be over. Um, but I hope we feel bonded as brothers and sisters um, that we're all in this together, we're all gonna rely on each other, and thankfully, the Lord's got us in all of this. Um, so hopefully that brings you comfort that we're all there. Um, but for today, and um, before you get started with your homework, I, I do, again, want to have a quick little devotion with you, prayer, and then read off some of our house points. Um, but for students, before we begin that, I do want to remind you, today is an A day. So since you have received that full agenda, you're only working on your A day assignments. So please be aware of that. Don't overwhelm yourself. Take things one at a time. Go through that agenda. Um, you got this, okay? So so with that being said, uh, for our devotional thought, yesterday we talked about just slowing down the pace of life. And this week we've been praying about just being thankful for these moments that God has put us in to grow us, to stretch us, to be intentional, to love well. It's a lot of things that we've been praying for. Um, one more thing I want to add to that. Um, just like the guy that I read yesterday that talked about slowing down your pace, he has another great idea that I love. And he talks about the differences between formations and and goal setting. Um, so often, especially in Western culture, just when we get stuck in this busyness, we also think that the best way to better ourselves is to set these really hard goals. Um, this is so oftentimes why New Year's resolutions fail, um, is because we, we make such lofty things that there's not a heart change behind them. So I love what he has to say about why we should pursue, again, formations rather than goal setting. So in this new season of struggle, which we're all kind of feeling, Let's have a good mindset with it, um, again, for formation. So let's see what he says. He says, I've begun to understand that we are created for formation, not goal setting. In general, goals are usually about a finish line, something that you can reach for and then be done once you accomplish it. It's about doing something. Formations, on the other hand, aren't about doing something, but about being someone. One is usually about activity, while the other is about identity. Goals are linear and resemble a straight line. Formations look more like a circle, where you are constantly coming back to the same place to seek renewal and refreshment in a particular practice. One is about result, the other is about process. Another important difference is the 80% rule. If you set goals and only do 80% of you only do them 80% of the time, like working out, for example, you will very quickly feel like a failure. You will only think of the 20% of the time that you didn't meet your expectations. But with formations, if you were doing it for 80% of the time, you can still feel very much at rhythm um, in changing the quality of your life. Why? Because formations are about the process itself. The process is what makes you who you are. If I'm watering our plants five days of the week instead of seven, those are still going to be awesome, healthy plants. Or if Alyssa and I, this is this man's wife, so you or your friend or you or your spouse try to have a rhythm of a weekly date night, but only seem to do it three, three times a month for a season, we know it's helping and it's connecting us in a way that is very much necessary. So here is a quick thing to think about. Traditional goals are like an arrow aiming for a bullseye. Formations, though, are less like a bullseye, are more like an arrow bent in a circle. One is linear and final. One is circular and forever. One doesn't really change you, and one can transform your life. Ah, I love that. Um, so I think what I would love to pray for all of you is, again, having a mindset for formations rather than goal setting. And so that way we truly utilize this really great time that God has gifted to us, um, despite the tragedy and the, the hard times that are going on around us. Heavenly Father, um, we love you dearly. Um, I just want to reattune our minds towards having a mindset towards formations rather than goal setting. Um, 
Lord goals uh, can be a way for us to beat ourselves up. Um, a lot of them are action-based um, or works-based. Um, and at the end of the day, there's not a transformation of heart. And so for our, my prayer for all of our students and families, and especially myself, Lord, is give me a mindset for formation about wanting to change my identity, especially an identity that resembles you, Lord. Um, so let myself not constantly focus on the things I'm not doing for you, but rather focus on the slow growth and renewal that I'm experiencing with the Holy Spirit. Um, let us be so attuned to that, Lord. Lord, we love you dearly. Thank you for all that you do for us. In your name we pray. Amen. All right, so on to um, <laughs> goals, or hopefully instead more formations um, with our students that are doing things for house points to grow and transform into leaders and servants. Um, here's what we have. So points to Olivia Pasowitz for vacuuming her family home and for delivering food to our house. Points to Slow Martin for helping take care of the family dog. Points to Margaret Catherine White who organized the home kitchen. Points to Parker Sutherland who cooked dinner and cleaned dishes for the family. And points to Ella Grace Horton who made dinner for her father's birthday. Great job. That is a total of 25 points to Mare House. Points to Braddis House. Um, to Anna Faith Scott for going above and beyond with her AMI assignments. Great job. Points to Ava Johnson who helped clean um, the family's dishes. Great job. Points to Cade Bowman who wrote a letter to his grandfather and cleaned his room. Total of 15 points to Braddis House. Next for Ventus we have points to Will Sellers who helped bathe his dog. Great job. I need to do the same thing as well. Um, I will add that to my list tomorrow. Um, total of five points to Ventus House. And then on to Petra and points to Cole Zahala for helping watch and entertain his little brother during AMI days. And also points to Jamil Wesley, who is helping his little brother with homework assignments. Ten points total to Petram House. And then last but not least, points to Ignis House. Um, between Emma Welch for helping her little sister with her daily homework. And also to Wes Richardson, who um, completed a community service project at Pinnacle Classical Academy. So a total of 10 points to Ignis House. Thank you guys so much. Um, for sending these in, for encouraging your kiddos. Um, and thank you so much for um, tuning into this. Um, it has been so good for me to feel connected with each and every one of you, students, parents, um, just really the Little Rock Christian community. I love school. I miss school. And I know our teachers are so itching to get back. Um, I hope you feel the same way. I hope you miss the community that we have. Um, again, praying for really great formation in all of your lives through all of this, not goal setting, but true change of identity. Thank you so much and hope you have a truly terrific Thursday.